I'm at London's Aldrich Theatre in the West End and I've come to interview local girl Sharon Rose. Sharon, thank you so much for um, taking some time to see and chat with us today. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Congratulations on getting the part of Little Eva. Thank you. <laughs> thank That's you very such much. such a massive achievement for you. But first of all, yeah. I want to go back to when we last spoke to you. Okay. Which was when you were doing X Factor. Yes. And at the time, you couldn't really tell us too much, could you? No, no, I couldn't. Um, just because of like um, the show was obviously going on and it was um, still live and a lot of things were happening so I couldn't really say anything without getting in trouble. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but how did it feel? Because you obviously got to the sixth chair part. Yeah. Yeah. How on earth did that feel at the time? Um, it was crazy because it was like a huge circus. Um, you know, there were a lot of cameras, a lot of, um, you know, go here, go there, and, um, you know, we'd have people around us kind of um, ushering us from one place to another. So it was a lot of, like, ruckus, because obviously these celebrities were there, and um, so a lot of things had to be kept hush-hush and stuff. Mm. But it was so much fun, because, you know, just for a few seconds, I got to live the high life and, like, <laughs> have, like, massive cameras in my face and yeah. going up to the roof of the Hilton in central London and, <laughs> like, it was, it was great, like, you know, secret meetings and stuff. So it was really good, really good Brilliant. fun. Yeah. But yeah. what I noticed with you, compared to a lot of the others, was that you were super calm most of the time. Um, do you think, why do you think that was? I think, um, to be honest, I think maybe because I was a little older than um, the other contestants, just a bit more mature. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> no, no, like, <laughs> oh, cut. <laughs> no, I think, I think um, I've been in the business for a very long time. And so I kind of, I've had my fair share of disappointments and um, yeah, I've been through a lot. So I just kind of like this, it will just be another way of me getting from one place to another. It's not sort of a disappointment for me because a few million people have viewed my videos now just and million, <laughs> just yeah. a few million. <laughs> and um, yeah, and I'm, I'm having the time of my life now. And even then I was having the time of my life. I got to perform in Wembley. Who gets yeah. to say that, you know? That's a big crowd. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. I mean, Does it have the nerves then? It's really nerve wracking. It's really nerve wracking because um, obviously the six chairs were right in front of like a massive crowd behind mm. us. Uh, so we had people chanting and yelling and sort of a lot of obscenities. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. It was crazy. It was, it was like it was like a bear baiting scene. It was incredible. Like you I know, must admit, I, I can remember thinking that this is just uh, it was quite torturous to watch. Yeah. yeah, no, it was just it was the scariest thing, but. Um, I, I got to sing my heart out and, um, and that's did. what I love to do, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it was good fun and I love, 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 love singing and I love just leaving my heart out on any stage I can and mm. that's what I got to do so I wasn't really disappointed. <laughs> yeah, so now you're doing it in Beautiful. Yeah, oh, so yeah. How did that happen? How, how, tell us about the, uh, how, the transition from how you came from X Factor mm. to here. Well, uh, the transition happened a lot earlier than... Yeah, <laughs> so you weren't allowed think. to tell us anything no, before, were you? No, I wasn't allowed, no. But um, for me, I think um, this last year, because I'd left university and I was kind of doing what every uni student does, which is apply for every single job under the sun mm. and just kind of leave it sort of in a pile. Yeah. You know, I've applied for it. you've still been tick. gigging with your band as well, haven't yes, you? Yes, yeah. yeah. So in the evenings, I'd... Um, I would be gigging with my band and then in the mornings I'd be waking up at 6am to go and work at um, Quick Fit. <laughs> uh, but uh, like in between doing shows in the evening and in the morning working Quick Fit, in between I'd go to auditions and apply for lots of different jobs and kind of get a lot of no's, a lot mm. of no's, <laughs> mm. and just, you know, meet a lot of people. And I think that was, that was kind of a, a good time for me because I was able to just to just go for everything, do everything and mm. see everything. I got to travel as well. I got to go to different places and, and sing. And so I think, um, yeah, I applied for lots of jobs and then about, at about like July, June, July time, I was um, doing the audition for this and a few other shows. And um, when this came about to come to town, I was like, yes, please let them want me. Yeah. <laughs> and they wanted me, so yeah. So how's so the, what is the audition process to 
to be to get a part in? Um, well, I mean, obviously, I I, uh, I work with an agent, and um, they informed me that there was an audition um, going on. So I came in for my first sort of read, um, and it was it was really nerve wracking. I think I'd say it was more nerve wracking than um, the X Factor um, because the X Factor it's a uh, you know, people who kind of know what they're talking about, but are more there for show and stuff, yeah. you know. Yeah. But with Beautiful, it's like professionals, like these mm. are people who the real deal. They've been in this industry for so long, mm. and <laughs> they can tell me what for. You know what I mean? Mm. So um, I was really nervous, um, but it was great, and it was my first time doing like like real acting. Yeah. Um, just you know, me and one other person with like five people watching. Mm. And um, it was great. It was so much fun. <laughs> um, yeah, and then we did a dance audition at Pineapple Studios around the corner, and um, a few dance, a few other dance um, auditions. And, Had you danced yeah. before? No. Ah. No, no, no. <laughs> You've obviously picked it up really well then. Yeah. There's quite a lot of dancing in this show, isn't there? There is. Yeah, there's a lot of dancing in my number, but mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I would call myself more of a mover mm. than a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I call myself more of a mover, but somehow, like, I mean, the choreographer on, on the show is incredible and the movements are just so good and the assistant choreographer was here sort of helping us out and she literally, like, helped me through everything, you know, the dance captains were, like, angels they Aww. just helped me through everything so nice. they're not like <laughs> yeah. oh you've never done a show before no no that was the thing i completely expected people to be a lot more sort of hard and tough mm. and kind of like mean girl you know but it wasn't like that at all like i walked in and they were like okay how best can we help you what can you do what can't you do okay do you know what i'm gonna push you and i'm gonna make you do this and what about this and it was great like yeah. It was being in a dance class, yeah, <laughs> but with a bunch of my friends, so it was yeah. really good. So how long did you actually have to rehearse before you went on stage? Um, oh, we had two weeks. Is that all? Um, well, um, two weeks in the studio and then one week in the um, um, auditorium in the theatre, and then, uh, yeah, and then literally right on. Wow. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, how was, was that first night? How did you feel? Take us God. through it. <laughs> I will, like, I will never forget it. It was the 30th <laughs> of November and it was the scariest day of my life. The 30th of what? November, it was, yeah. November, yeah. 30th of November. And I was so nervous because, I mean, you'll watch the show. I mean, the number is such a fun song that Oliva and Locomotion was such a good song. I and mean, obviously, mm, Kylie, really. yeah, yeah, Kylie Minogue did it again. And it was, so it's such a big hit. And I was just so worried about doing it justice because mm. people are going to know it mm. and they're going to want it sung really well, you yeah. know. And um, the musical director who wrote them, you know, the music for the show um, did an amazing arrangement that sort of takes the song from one level to another. Right. <laughs> so, you know, it just, it doesn't, you know, stay in the sort of same kind of um, dancey place that it, it was sort of in the 60s. It literally goes from like, you know, from one key to the next and it goes up and it's just, <laughs> it's phenomenal. So, so, you know, having to hit some really high notes whilst doing a really intricate dance number <laughs> was not going to be easy, no. but that night, um, it happened for some reason. I don't know how it happened, but it came out and I was, um, yeah. You need a lot okay. of stamina then, don't you? Yeah. Are you yeah. kind of looking after yourself physically? Yeah, you know? I mean, I'm trying. Yeah. It's hard, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I can barely keep up with the professionals, like, mm. obviously. I'm like, I mean, we have physical warm up every, um, every day when we yeah. come in. So um, that keeps me on my toes pretty much. Um, and, you know, um, one of the things that they told me was to you know do the number constantly whilst jogging or s using a skipping rope and mm. to try and keep your stamina up and get used to it because oh, that's a good one yeah. I've heard of that before yeah yeah mm. so I kind of every now and then I'll you know get a skipping rope or I'll um, go jogging while seeing the number just to keep my strength up so but it's not just the little lever song that you do is it no it's, no you're, you're in, in the show 
throughout really yes yes I'm in the ensemble which is mm. uh, which is such fun because um, I get to like do all the harmonies and stuff all the stuff in the background and I also get to be on stage for like half the show so it's Excellent. just it's amazing yeah, yeah. how point. would you say being in a West End show compares to being in an Amdram show because you did Sister Act in yeah. South End with an Amdram company so yeah what would you say is the, the big mm -hmm. difference or is there not well um discipline maybe god um to be honest i think the huge difference is just um the fact that it's so um like everything has to be absolutely perfect yeah. like um i'm privileged enough to work with um you know the md who's here um and the choreographers and and all the dance captains and people who you know, take notes on us every single day, mm -hmm. and they'll say, um, you know, this is what you're doing wrong. This is what you need to correct. This is kind of you have to do this. Why don't you try this instead? So we get notes um, every other day. Oh, you know? really? That's um, interesting. Yeah. So they're very detailed. They're very um, down to the point, and they want everything to be perfect, which is good because, you know, Cal King um, wrote such good music, and to do it justice, you kind of got to. Mm -hmm you know, get it right um, every night. So it was, it's different with the Andram, because with the Andram, once rehearsals are finished, it's showtime. And obviously they took such great care with it and every single member of like the Andram shows that I worked on, you know, they were absolutely phenomenal. And a lot of people I think deserve to actually be in the professional, mm. um, you know, doing the West yeah. End shows. Yeah. Um, but I think it was just sort of the note taking and the like the precision and yes. just, yeah. yeah. And it's got to be right. People yeah, are paying a, an awful lot of money to come oh, to these shows. Aren't yeah, they? So, unfortunately, yeah. yeah. But it's a good thing because this music deserves oh, that. Absolutely. It's just yeah. Well, had you seen the show before? You were yes, in it? I had. Mm. I had, and I was literally like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> yeah. When I watched it, I was um, in awe. Yeah. I can and imagine. I had no idea she wrote Natural Woman before I watched it, um, and I literally I was crying. Um, You've got a friend in Natural Woman. The first time I watched it, it just had me in tears. So <laughs> it was great. Are you still kicking with your band? Or yes. You yes. Every now and then. Uh, I'll work. I also do, I'm doing a lot of songwriting yes, as well yeah. um, at the minute. So um, yes, I do get to work with them every now and then. Not as much as I want to, because mm. um, obviously I'm usually very tired. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I still get to work, and um, you know during my holiday periods I get to go off and and do little bits here and there. So yeah. It's good. So what's the future hold for Sharon Rose? God. Um, I hope maybe a few more West End shows. <laughs> maybe. Um, yeah, I do. I love it. I, I mean, I love it. I, I love acting now. So mm -hmm. I'm definitely wanting to take up some more acting um, classes and um, see where that will take me. But definitely songwriting and definitely doing my music. And so I'm still passionate about that, you know, I'm yeah. still drawn to it. So, yeah. yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Well, Sharon, thank you so much for chatting to us today. It's been a pleasure you. to meet you. Thank you. Again. <laughs> Again. And um, we can't wait to see the show. Yes, it's going to be good. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, you enjoy oh, it. we will. <laughs> good.